welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is another World War I episode, number 293. And I don't have any Medal of Honor news today, but I do want to thank all of you for listening and supporting the podcast, making this month the most downloaded month in the history of the show. So I really appreciate that. Be sure to share the podcast, maybe an individual episode or the entire show with a friend or family. I know a lot of us are getting stuck at home, not with a whole lot to do. And uh, this would be a good opportunity to kind of go listen through the back catalog of episodes ranging from the Civil War to World War I, uh, all the Global War on Terrorism uh, recipients as well. So it's a good opportunity to go back and listen. And uh, like I said, be sure to share either an episode or the entire show with a friend or family. And if you share it, be sure to share it about six feet away. This way you're socially distanced from that person. It's a little bit of quarantine humor for you. Uh, now we're going to move on to episode 293. And now, a tale of honor. William was born on the 14th of October, 1896, in Bayonne, New Jersey. He grew up playing semi-pro baseball as a teenager and went on to the New York State Ranger School after high school and graduated in 1914. William became a forester back in his hometown until he enlisted in the U.S. Army on the 2nd of October, 1917. His basic training was in North Carolina at Camp Green, which was closed due to the growth of nearby Charlotte, and was then assigned to the 47th Infantry Regiment before deploying to France during World War I. It was his actions during the Second Battle of the Marne that would earn him the Distinguished Service Cross, which would later be upgraded to the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, Sergeant Shemin distinguished himself by acts of gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty while serving as a rifleman with G Company, 2nd Battalion, 47th Infantry Regiment, 4th Division, American Expeditionary Forces, in connection with combat operations against an armed enemy in the Vela River near Bazoge, France, from August 7 to August 9, 1918. Sergeant Shemin left cover and crossed open space, repeatedly exposing himself to heavy machine gun and rifle fire to rescue wounded. After officers and senior non-commissioned officers had become casualties, Sergeant Shemin took command of the platoon and displayed great initiative under fire until wounded on August 9. Sergeant Shemin's extraordinary heroism and selflessness above and beyond the call of duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit upon himself, his unit, and the United States Army. William was hospitalized for three months because of the shrapnel and bullet that pierced his helmet and became lodged behind his left ear. He served on light duty in Germany and Belgium as part of the occupation until his tour was completed. William originally received the DSC on the 19th of December, 1919, and he returned to college, this time at the New York State College of Forestry at Syracuse University. He graduated and went on to start a greenhouse and a landscaping business in the Bronx. William and his wife, Bertha, had three children, two of which were presented his Medal of Honor upgrade 96 years after his actions in France. On the 2nd of June, 2015, President Obama presented Elsie Shemin Roth and Ina Bass their father's Medal of Honor in a ceremony at the White House. William Shemin died on the 15th of August, 1973, at the age of 76, and joined his wife in the Baron Hirsch Cemetery in Staten Island, New York, in the Brickman Shemin family plot. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrose, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.